I'm going to show you a bit about how to service this machine. Um, I didn't find an owner's manual. If you find one or maybe able to look online and find one, then it would maybe say the specifics. So I may miss a spot or two in terms of oiling, but I will show you if there's a, if it's, you don't have to do this very often, but occasionally you take it, you can vacuum out. There's two screws and you can pull the top off. Um, and that's what it looks like. So basically what I do when I'm servicing um, is um, go through and oil uh, all the places where there's little wee little wee um, bearings. So I, and I just put a drop. So one drop there, a drop on that, put a drop on here. I would put a drop right there where it's a bearing right there. Um, and put a drop here. Don't oil, don't put any on that little gear there. Gears, you use grease, uh, but you don't have to do that very often. I would put a drop here. Um, and a drop right here. Um, you don't put very much, and usually what I'll do is I'll put a dab, because so you don't want it to be, um, you don't want it to pick up any lint, because sewing is already a lot of fuzz and stuff. And make sure you unplug the machine before you start. So here, um, any, any moving parts, I might take this out of the, okay, sorry. Oh, so I'm um, in here, and some of these, I don't know if this one has holes. Some of them are a little bit, oh, but so I would, I would go here, a drop, a drop in here. Um, drop. Here, a drop here, a drop here. Um, I would also put a drop here where it slides up and down. A drop here where it slides up and down. And in the back, I don't think you can see it. You can, back in here, I'd put a drop. There's a slider up and down. Um, for the presser foot. Um, so, I'm moving parts in there. It's a little hard to see, my apologies. But that's the top end. 